let's solve the following system of linear inequality we'll begin with the first inequality we have 2x minus 7 greater than 5 minus x so what we'll do we'll add x to both sides so that means the negative x and positive x gets cancelled on the right hand side and on the left hand side we have 2x plus x which is 3x minus 7 so that's greater than 5 and the next step we are going to add 7 to both sides so this is going to get rid of this 7 from the left hand side and this leaves us with 3x greater than 5 plus 7 which is 12. Now what we'll do we want to make the coefficient of x 1 to do that we'll have to divide both sides by 3 but here whenever we're dividing or multiplying in the in equation we have to be very careful here we'll be using a property that means if a and b are two numbers such that a is greater than b and we have another number c which is positive that means greater than zero then if we multiply a with c and b with c then ac will be greater than bc meaning the sign of the inequality is not going to change now that means here we can divide both sides by 3 and we'll be left with x so here the 3 and 3 gets go away so we have x greater than 4 so this is our uh, solution to the linear inequality as stated in number 1 right so let's call it number 2 then and now solving the second linear inequality we have 11 minus 5x less than or equals to 1 so we will subtract 11 from both sides so that leaves us with negative 5x less than or equals to 1 minus 11 that will be negative 10 then we want to make the coefficient of x equals to 1 but we have negative 5 here, so we'll divide both sides with negative 5 but we have to be careful here here we have use a property that means if a is less than or equals to b and we have a number c which is negative that means less than 0 then in that case if we multiply if we divide a with c and divide b with c then the sign of the inequality changes that means a over c will become greater than or equals to b over c so that means when you divide negative 5x with negative 5 and negative 10 with negative 5 the sign of the inequality will change to greater than or equal to so this gives us x greater than or equals to 2 so this is solution to our second linear inequality and what we'll do we'll try to combine the two solution or that means we'll combining in the sense we'll try to find a common solution between them so we'll draw a number line on the number line we'll consider positive 2 and positive 4 so x greater than 4 means we have to consider all the values of x which is greater than x equals to 4 and lying to the right of it and extending all the way up to positive infinity and we have x greater than or equals to 2 that, that means we'll have to consider all the values of x which is greater than 2 including 2 and lying to the right and extending all the way up to positive infinity now looking at this graph we can see here that this is the region so this is the common region where both of the two solutions overlap so that means our solution will be starting from 4 and going all the way up to infinity and this is going to be within open intervals that because 4 is not a part of the solution and infinity by definition is unbounded so this is a solution to our system of linear inequalities